As you can see, we're playing better Minecraft in 2024. Installing better Minecraft shouldn't be hard. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to install better Minecraft and how to fix any issue you might have along the way. Because I know sometimes we might have some complications. But yeah, stay until the end of the video if you want to learn how to install better Minecraft. Let's get started with this tutorial. Now, installing better Minecraft in 2024, it's fairly simple. And we have written a guide in here on how to download and install CurseForge. Now, you might be wondering, well, CurseForge is not better Minecraft. The thing is that CurseForge is a mod pack launcher, which will allow us to install mod packs like our craft, better Minecraft, Pixelmon, and actually like thousands of mod packs with a single click. So in order to install better Minecraft, we're going to install CurseForge first. In order to do so, go ahead and click on the second link in the description, which will bring you to, of course, our written guide on how to install CurseForge. Feel free to read through the guide and look at the screenshots. However, if you just want to follow along the video, all you have to do is just scroll down Find this button that says download CurseForge here. Click on that button that will redirect you to the CurseForge website. In here, you could scroll down and download it for Mac or Linux. But for this tutorial, we're going to download the standalone for Windows. Go ahead and click on that button if you're downloading it for Windows as well. And that will start the download automatically. In my case, it's asking me where to save it, but for you guys, it's going to download right away. Now, as you can see, if you have Chrome, you can see the download here in the top right in your recent download history. And you can go ahead and drag and drop that file into your desktop, that CurseForge Windows installer file. You can go ahead and minimize the browser. And all we have to do now is double click CurseForge and that will launch the installation for CurseForge. And there we go, it pop up. We could change the language in here. However, we're going to leave it in English and then go ahead and click next. In here, you could click that you accept the terms. Now, if you wanna change the installation folder, you have to launch CurseForge as an administrator. You have to right click and run as an admin. However, I'm going to install it in the default folder. Go ahead and click next again. Wait for CurseForge to install. And while CurseForge is installing, I have to let you guys know about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you are trying to play better Minecraft, with friends and you want to make a server for better Minecraft with a single click again with just a click of a button well Apex Hosting is the perfect service for you because they will make that better Minecraft server for you because they support over 200 mod packs with just one click super simple to install I have installed better Minecraft myself I have run servers on better Minecraft and other mod packs and Apex Hosting is by far one of the easiest services to use I'm going to leave that first link in the description where you will get 25% off your first server if you decide to use Apex Hosting. Now let's check back with CurseForge and see if it finished installing. As we can see, now that we open CurseForge, it already installed. Now, in my case, since I already installed CurseForge in the past, it's not having me go through the tutorial that it is going to have you guys go through when you open CurseForge the first time. It's gonna say something like, welcome to CurseForge. Do you want to watch this little intro? You could just skip that, okay? Skip that, and then over here, when it has you choose a game, just choose Minecraft. I'll bring you over here where you most likely won't have any mod packs at all. However, to add better Minecraft, all we have to do is head over to browse. And in here, you're gonna scroll down until you find better Minecraft, but that might take you forever. The easiest way is to type where it says search for Minecraft projects, better Minecraft. Now, after you type better Minecraft, I like to sort it by popularity because if you just leave it on feature, you might have a bunch of other things in here. So I like to sort it by popularity and that makes sure that all the popular better Minecraft come up. For this tutorial specifically, we're going to install the Better Minecraft Forge Edition for Minecraft 1.20.1. Now, you might be watching this and there's tons of different versions for Better Minecraft. Like a lot of people like the 1.16.5. Some people like older ones. Some people like newer ones. It depends. It's completely up to you. For this tutorial, I'm going to install the Forge one. Make sure it's the one by this guy in here. Okay, I don't even know how to say his name or her name. Just make sure it's by that person. And then just click install on the right. And that'll begin the installation for better Minecraft. We could always check here where it says my mod packs, how the installation is going. And this is also the way that we're going to play better Minecraft all the time. From now on, every time you want to play better Minecraft, you have to launch CurseForge and you have to go over to your mod packs and launch better Minecraft through here. And after around a minute or so, better Minecraft should be completely installed. And all we have to do now is click on play. And that is going to launch Minecraft Launcher. And I say Minecraft Launcher and not your Minecraft Launcher because this Minecraft Launcher is a little bit different from your regular Minecraft Launcher. The only difference is that this one is being launched through CurseForge, which means that it will have you sign in whenever you open it. So as soon as you click on play in Better Minecraft through CurseForge, this launcher is going to open and it's going to have you sign in again. Because I have gotten comments in the past saying it's having me sign in again. I understand how it could be confusing. All you have to do is sign in with your Minecraft account and it will log you in through here. This is completely safe. It's like a regular Minecraft launcher. It's just a different instance. That is why it's having you sign in again. And once you sign in, once you log in with your Minecraft account, you should see Better Minecraft in here. All you have to do now is click on play, click that you understand the risk and click on play again. Now, I already have updated my computer to the most recent software to be able to run better Minecraft. However, 
if when you click play, it doesn't say preparing or it starts launching and once it launches, the game crashes, that is most likely because you have an outdated version of Java. Recently, I updated to Windows 11 and I noticed that Windows 11 doesn't come with any Java at all. So you will have to update Java to at least Java 17 in your computer. And we have a guide on how to do that. I'm going to leave it in the description, how to install Java 17 so you don't have any issues when launching mod packs, mainly recent mod packs, because any Minecraft above Minecraft 1.16.4 will require you to have at least Java 17 on your computer. So if you are launching a recent mod pack like Better Minecraft, you will need at least Java 17. That will be the third link in the description. I don't install Java 17. And I'm also going to leave you a guide on how to run a jar fix. Sometimes you need to run a jar fix after you install Java. Running a jar fix is super simple. It's a three step process. You download it, you open it, and that's it. Super, super simple. Sometimes running the jar fix will make sure that your jar files, which are the files that require you to have Java updated, actually work, okay? So if you had any issues while launching better Minecraft, that might be because of a Java issue. Sometimes it will say something like error code one or negative one. Usually it's just a Java issue and that's what you need to do. You need to fix Java. I'm gonna leave those links in the description. And now let's wait for better Minecraft to open to confirm that we installed everything properly and to confirm that it is working. As we can see, it is already loading and I'm gonna minimize curse washing here. Like I said, if you want to play better Minecraft, you will always need to launch it through CurseForge, okay? Unless you install the mod pack manually, which is way more complicated and requires downloading a bunch of other things instead of just installing CurseForge. You know, that's why I teach you guys the CurseForge way, how to install CurseForge and then install better Minecraft. And as you can see, it took a little bit before becoming a full screen. That's because this is a very heavy mod pack which has a lot of mods and we have to give it some time for it to load. I'm pretty sure that not all the computers, unfortunately, will be able to run this game. So if you have a computer that, you know, unfortunately is a little bit outdated, you might not be able to play better Minecraft. Now we're in here already. It's loading. It says Mojang Studio by Luna Pixel. OK, so it says less memory allocated. See right here, it's already letting me know that I'm only giving this game four gigabytes of RAM and it's recommending me to have at least 10 gigabytes, 10,000 megabytes, which equal 10 gigabytes. And I'm going to show you in a second how to change the RAM amount in case you you want to fix that. However, I'm going to click proceed as of now. Now I know that the game is working. I'm going to go to single player and I'm going to create a world. And just in a second, I'm going to show you how to change the RAM amount allowed for this game so you don't get that uh, warning at the beginning or you don't have the game randomly just crashing right whenever you're trying to play. And we're now into the world. We just loaded into the world. This is better Minecraft. As we can see, it looks completely different than our regular Minecraft game. Everything is different in here. And now we confirm that the game is working. So let's go ahead and change that RAM amount to not get that warning at the beginning. First thing you want to do is close the game. Obviously, go ahead and close the game, save your world, whatever. Just 100% quit the game. Once you quit the game, you want to go to CurseForge and you want to click play on better Minecraft again so that other Minecraft launcher opens. The one that you have to log in and mine open on my other on my other monitor. Let me move it over here and just wait for this launcher to load. Once you log in one time, you don't have to log in again. Once you're here, you're going to head over to the installations tab and you're going to hover over better Minecraft and then you're going to click on these little three dots and click edit. That'll bring you over here where all you have to do is click on more options and where it says XMX 4096, you could change this number to 10,000, like the game recommended you to have. That's only if you have 10 gigabytes of RAM to spare for a game in your computer. How do you know how much RAM you have on your computer? Easy, head over to your file explorer and then head over to this PC. And here you're going to right click and click on properties. And once you're in the property section, you can see the installed RAM in here. As you can see, I have 64 gigabytes of RAM. So that means that I have lots of gigabytes of RAM to spare for better Minecraft. But if you have something like 16 gigabytes, well, I don't know if giving 10 gigabytes to the game, it's recommended for you. If I were you, and if I only had 16 gigabytes, I will only give it eight gigabytes. If I have 32, then I'll definitely give it 10 gigabytes. If you have 32 gigabytes of RAM installed, but yeah, if you have 64 like me, then you have plenty of gigabytes of RAM to spare. So once you found out how much RAM you have, if you want to give it 10 gigabytes, all you have to do is type 10,000 in here. If you want to give it eight gigabytes, you have to type something like 8,126 or something like that. I don't remember the numbers, but yeah, you could also just type it 8,000. You know, every 1,000 megabytes is around a gigabyte of RAM. So yeah, you could just type the whole number. In this case, we're going to do the 10,000 and we're gonna click save and we're gonna launch it again. We're gonna click play again. Now, very important for you guys to keep in mind, it's that every time you launch better Minecraft, if you wanna change the RAM amount, you might have to go and change it manually every single time like we just did right now, okay? So every time you launch better Minecraft, if you wanna give it 10,000 megabytes or 10 gigabytes, you have to go and change it that way. Now let's wait for this to load and see if it still gives us that warning. Okay, so we just loaded into better Minecraft and it didn't give me any issues this time. So that means that we are good. 
I'm gonna go back into that new world just so I could record the outro and the intro of this video because I always record the intro after I'm done trying the guide because I want to make sure it works before I record the video, right? Now, if you're trying to play better Minecraft multiplayer, remember, you could use that first link in the description for 25% off. And you could do a server and you could play this mod pack with friends, which is great, you know? You just get the server and your friends don't have to get the service as well. If you get the server, all they have to do is download better Minecraft using this video and that's it. With one of you having the server, everybody's good. So there we go, guys. That is pretty much how to get better Minecraft, how to fix any issues you might have along the way. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And as always, bye bye.